we don't actually touch things because there was an episode of Cosmos where we did that. Mm -hmm. where as you bring two things together, you feel like you're touching, but what's happening is the electromagnetic forces are repelling each other, and you're responding to the forces thinking that it's a solid thing, but it's not. If we can never touch anything, truly, then could it be dark matter okay. in between the touching that's pushing or pulling? All right. So it turns out dark matter mm -hmm. does not interact with itself as potently as regular matter does. Interesting. Okay. So when mm. regular matter gets together, right. the, its molecules grab on. Yeah. It makes solid All objects. All kinds of things. Liquid, gas. Mm. It, it'll, it'll, it'll make, okay. You, so we have regular matter planets. Right. We have rocks. Because that's what regular matter does, mm -hmm. using the electromagnetic force, in right. case you were wondering. All right. Dark matter, what we call dark matter, which is really dark gravity, does not respond to the electromagnetic force. At all. At all. Doesn't interact. Doesn't interact. Okay. So it doesn't interact with us that right. way. Okay. Nor does it interact with itself that way. It does interact gravitationally, though. So you can have pockets of dark matter out there. But nowhere is it so dense that you have solid objects. Wow. As far as we can tell, there's no solid dark matter out there. Okay. By the way, if it was, if it did exist, it would just pass through you because it doesn't interact. Well, it doesn't interact anyway. And with any force that's right. holding you together, right. it's got another instruction set. So particles, we already have accounted for their behavior with the forces that are known. Right. We, there's nothing mysterious there. And that is why you have four-year-olds all over the world in the back of cards going, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. 